had a good one on Friday. Um, we've had a really good training block. It, the lockdown's been strange for, for pretty much everybody in the world around, but Steve kept a level head and it meant all of us athletes did. And we got a good, a good kind of strange block for the summer. We got back to basics and worked on our base and then started working on speed. And I suppose it gave me an opportunity really to do a little bit more 800 work, um, which I've never really got to do before because I've always been focusing on a 15, getting ready for uh, the track season and the championships ahead. So I felt really good going into the race. I knew that I was in the shape to run a PB and, um, and, I, and I had ambitions to run sub two but I just said I was going to race it because whenever I look at the clock, I get a bit bogged down. Um, so yeah, it's one of those days where everything came together. I stepped off the track and was probably a bit frustrated that I didn't go even faster because you just, one of those days where it clicks and, um, and I felt great just in the zone and I felt I just built each 100. So um, yeah, I'm delighted to, to have my first ever sub two 800. <laughs> Your first ever and the first ever of an Irish girl. Yeah, first Irish woman ever to go under two minutes for the 800 meters. So making history and I, it was always going to be a little battle. There's other girls that were touching on it as well. So for a number of years now, I've been wanting to be the first one. And it's just always wondering if somebody else will get there before you. So I managed to do it. And hopefully now I can build on that. And, and you'll stay on 1500 or you'll, you'll choose uh, either the 800? Uh, I think I'm better at the 15. <laughs> Yeah, I've never, I haven't raced an 800 at a big champ since I was a, a youth. I, I came seven, or second in the world youth championships whenever I was very little and over the 800. But uh, yeah, I think my my expertise is more in the 15, and the 800 is going to help me run fast in that. You said you you knew you were in a, in a great shape. Can you tell us uh, your last training? before burn, oh, that's strong training. Yeah, yes, that's, I'd that's say, um, so Steve has, Steve over the last few weeks has said, we'll, we'll do some 800 specific work. Uh, I suppose over the 800, you taste the lactic a little, little bit more. And um, so we wanted sessions that brought me to that, that cusp. Um, I did one in Manchester, but the last one I did was uh, in Chiavenna. We dropped down and I did a 400 with 30 second gap, 200 and then took a real big gap of seven minutes, which I'm not used to. I, we usually turn over much quicker for the 1500 um, and then did it again. So it was good. And you know, whenever you're, you're doing an 800 session when you throw up after it. So I've had two sessions getting ready for this 800 and I threw up after both. So they were two good sessions and uh, yeah, I knew I was ready. And I feel like I'm, I'm strong. I could run a, a PB over the 15 as well. It's just having the chances this year, that's the thing. Thank you very much. Were there 400 and 200? Oh, that's the thing. I'm terrible. You ask me training. Um, Steve would know better. I think I went 58 the first one and maybe 29 for the two and then the next one 57 and I think I've tried to drop a 28. <laughs> and Steve Steve jumped in the last 200 to push me. I nearly ran in the back to the back of him because he went from standing still. But yeah, Steve's the man to ask. I, I just do what he says. And I save the session and that's me done. <laughs> I don't dwell on my training at all. <laughs> He's stronger than you as a runner? Um, over 5k and up. I'll give him a good race. He wouldn't beat me over 800. He, he wouldn't beat me on the sprints. I think I'd get him in the 15 at the minute. It'd be close on a 3k, but when we get to my, my tempos and thresholds, Steve is... He has a strong engine. He runs up all the mountains here, so... Um, but I have... I have the, the speed over him. He's getting a little older, but don't let him hear me say that. <laughs> that was a massive result from Kira, but we all knew it was coming. Um, we, the last few weeks, we've seen, you know, the last few months, the training that Kira's doing. So we knew, we knew she was going to do it, um, and it, we're just hoping for good weather and good competition. So um, yeah, Kira's in a, in a good place right now, and yeah, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> Kira's a Kira's a, a 1500 meter runner but she's also finished top 20 in the European cross. Um, you know, a four... In the end, in Berlin. Yes, yeah, that's strength. Much faster than the... Yeah, 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 and it's strength. Um, I believe in a philosophy of strength training, and, uh, you know, Kira does, Kira does training with Yip Vastenberg, who's a marathon runner, and so the, it's important that Yip does... Uh, sorry, Kira does a lot of endurance work as well. 
because um, that helps. Because when you, you, you go to a World Championships or Olympics and you've got three rounds in the 1500 metres, yeah, it's the strength that gets you through. So Kira's 5K is improving. She, she ran a, a, a 1540 on the road this winter and I'm sure um, she's not far off sub 15 minutes now. So, okay. yeah, yeah.